you today from the Spirit of the Lord is this. The Lord said to me last night, says, your season is now, so take it. So that is the prophetic word that the Lord has for somebody. Your season is now, so take it. The Lord is saying to you, you have been doing that same old routine. You have been doing that same thing the same way. <sighs> bless you, somebody. God bless you. Once again, your sister princess. Uh, today is Tuesday. I uh, just want to say to somebody, Jesus loves you. And there's no need to panic. Uh, the prophetic word that I have for you today from the Spirit of the Lord is this. The Lord said to me last night, he says, your season is now, so take it. So that is the prophetic word that the Lord has for somebody. Your season is now, so take it. The Lord is saying to you, you have been doing that same old routine. You have been doing that same thing, the same way, the same pattern, but it is not working. You are stressing over it, trying to figure how to fix it. And he's giving you new ways. He's trying to point you to new direction. Say, this is how you're gonna do it. One thing we all must be aware, change is constant. Change is gonna keep changing. Change is also the Lord trying to usher somebody to a new season. Now, what is that it? It says to me, your season is now, so take it. But what is that it? That it, it could be uh, a new job. Maybe you run a business, you are doing that business the same old way. The business is running you down, you get it into debt. And the Lord is saying, well, just move from this location, move from here. Maybe you, there are many people, many of us from Africa, we know of all the witchcraft and all the marine spirits. The Bible says your family, your enemies shall be members of your household, members of your community, that small area where you are. So now, maybe you're living in your parents' house or in your uncle's house or in somebody there and the Lord is saying, move. This is why things are not working for you. Move from here. Let me take you to another place where you be like, well, you know, it is free house. Well, the rent is so cheap here. Well, the shop, well, the Lord is saying, move now. That is what he's saying. It could also be a relationship or whatever that it is. You have been hearing it in the spirit. You have been getting it in dreams that whatever you are doing right now, it is difficult. It is not working. It is straining you. It is stressing you. Move, leave it, let it go. But you say no. There is this day I watched um, a divorce court case. This young lady, she wanted to divorce the man that she has married for about a year. And the judge was like, why do you want to leave him? He's good. He's so nice. He comes from work. He comes straight home. He walks. He brings his paycheck home. He doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. He's not out partying. He's boring. I'm not used to guys like that. I'm used to tough guys. I've never had a guy that loved me this way. All oh, my relationships have been very uh, 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 difficult. They have been abusive. So here is this man. The judge was telling her, but this is the change that you need. This man is a gift from God. He did not wait now. I'm not used to gentlemen like this. So God was trying to move her from a very bad relationship that she has been all these years and sent her a new change and trying to usher her into a new season. But she was fighting it. She did not understand. She's not used to it. That is how it is for many of us. When God is trying to usher us to a new season, he's trying to move us to a new place, to a new direction. But because we are used to doing the same old thing that is not working, that is what the family has done all these years. That is how we have always run our church. We are not changing. We're not going to include the youth, uh, youth program. We're not going to do this. And it is not working. Your church is dwindling. People are not joining. Those who are coming, you're not winning souls. And the Lord is trying to say, well, I love this little change. No, 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 no. It is a sin. It is a that. But God is saying to somebody today, your season is now. Take it. So he's going to, you're going to start seeing new, 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 new 
things, new changes, new ideas just come through that the Lord is bringing to you. Sometimes when God brings you those new directions, you don't have to discuss with anybody. It is the Holy Spirit between you and the Holy Spirit. The things that the Lord has made me to change in the past two years especially, including some fake prophets that I was uh, entangled with, fake woman of God that I was really following. When the Lord began to tell me, disconnect, disconnect, I did not hold back. Because I realized all the time I was following these people and praying along and saying, Amen, Amen, doing, drinking their water and, and doing their fasting, blah, blah, blah. Nothing was working. Things were worse. But when the Lord began to ask me to disconnect, and I did, I never regretted it. So the Lord is about to usher somebody into a new season, a new ideas. A new area move you from this terrible relationship to another to, to, to meet somebody else move you from this horrible job that is killing you to another place I was doing the night shift for many years and eventually my blood pressure became high I was gaining too much weight my physically you know medically was just not working and the Lord I began to hear it is time to switch your shift but I was fighting it. I had all kinds of excuses. Oh, the children. The children are grown. They can take care of themselves. But then, when it became so difficult, I got to a point I was I couldn't even climb the stairs without breathing heavily. I had to switch. And as soon as I made that switch to this shift, my God, see how beautiful life is. The blood pressure came down. The weight began to peel off. And the prophetic word is just coming in by the second. My, my, my prayer life significantly up again improved. So the Lord is ushering you to a new season, new ideas, new direction. Don't be like Jonah in the Bible, who God was sending to Nineveh to preach, but he was not going to Nineveh. He wanted to go to another place and he got swallowed by a whale and he suffered in the belly of the whale. So um, here there's somebody, that same way you have been doing that thing, it is not working. It is stressing you out. Those same set of friends, they are terrible. You're still hanging around them. That terrible boyfriend, that horrible girlfriend, you are still with them. The Lord is saying, your season is now to break free. Your season is now to start something new. Season is now to let go and let him lead you. Let the Lord lead you. Take it. Take that new direction that the Lord is about to start leading you through. The Lord God Almighty bless you. Your sister princess, have a great day. I'll see you next time as the Holy Spirit directs. I love you with the love of Christ.